G'day everyone, this morning we're at Southern Cross Railway Station because we're going to Warrnambool on this. Today's steam rail are running Streamline S-Class Locomotive and V-Line N-Class Locomotive about 250 kilometres down to the coastal city of Warrnambool and we're going to ride the train. So let's get into it. So this trip was run on the 13th of February 2022 and this is the first mainline heritage service for the year. And I started the day by watching the Consist transfer over the North Melbourne flyover. Now this trip was run by Steam Rail Victoria, who used their Streamliner locomotive built in 1961, S313 and V-Line's 1986 built N458, the city of Maribara, which is very much still a revenue operating locomotive. Now the second loco on this tour was originally touted as fellow Streamliner A66, however that locomotive is currently out of operation. It was then rumoured that it was going to be N466, the city of Warrnambool, However, that was also changed in the last minute. This tour, and a slight spoiler alert, ran almost exactly on time the entire day, leaving Southern Cross just after 8.30 in the morning. I was seated in the freshly painted 1909 built 7ABE which I always enjoy, as you can open the windows, which is one of my favourite parts of heritage train travel. Now the rest of the train was made up of power van PCP 292, 5AS, club car Moorable, 9BRS, 25BE, 38BE and 46BE. Being that the train was made up of both steel and wooden carriages, we would be speed restricted to 80 kilometres an hour. Amenities on this train were as usual, a bar in Moorable for the first class passengers, as well as a bar in the very fresh looking 9BRS, both with food and drink options. There was also a souvenir shop in 7ABE. We made our way out of Melbourne via the regional fast rail line to Geelong, passing industrial sidings and railway yards, as well as getting a last look at some of the withdrawn commenges awaiting their fate. We moved briskly for Geelong, momentarily stopping at Wyndham Vale. We passed stations with views of the Yu Yangs in near perfect weather. It's always fun to see areas of these cities that cannot be seen from a car. Rolling into Geelong, we did have a few minutes to pick up passengers. 
And once we departed, we did then have to stop again at Marshall to be crossed by a couple of V-Line revenue services. Then it was back off towards Colac, where we did get a good look at the new Warren Pond station, as well as the Boral Concrete facility, which is no longer connected to the railway, but I always feel would make a great setting for a model railway. Once in Colac, the smell of fresh cut timber filled the air. A majority of the riders did disembark where there were a couple of tour options. One was a trip to the Otway Skywalk and the other a brewery. However, I'm a gunzel, so I just stayed on the train. Now, with a lighter load, we headed off for Camperdown. And once there, we alighted as the train did need to shunt into the second road to be passed by a Warnable service. I never, I never, I never. Now once the Warrnambool Pass had passed, our train pushed back into the station. However, there were noticeably more people, mainly families, as Steamrail offered tickets for a camper down to Warrnambool and return leg of the trip, which seemed to be very well patriated. And there's only about an hour between the locations.
have very long in the seaside city of Warrnambool. However, it was pointed out to me a bit later on that this was down to it not really being a Warrnambool tour so much, but rather a focus on the Otway Explorer options. So for me, it was a quick walk over to Liebig Street to grab a burrito, and then it was back on the train for the return journey. Now with the N class leading, as the S couldn't be turned, I'm not sure if that's because the turntable at Warrnambool is possibly currently booked out, or there just wasn't enough time to turn it around with the allocated path that they had. So I guess it would have been a touch better if we could have had a little longer in Warrnambool, perhaps time to have a sit down meal at the pub or even visit some of the attractions. However, I'm sure that's a trip that will happen later on, or at least at some point. Now the return to Melbourne was much the same as the trip there. It ran smoothly and on time. So something I think I took away from this trip is something that I didn't really think of which is why do I like these trips? I mean, it's very obvious that I like trains and that's a given, but I think it's actually to relax. It's a day where you don't have to do anything or really even go anywhere. You don't have to drive or worry about refreshments. It's an excellent way to relax and decompress from just all the things in life and just focus on getting there and back again. So that was a trip. All told, it was about 11 hours all around and it was excellent. I had a great time, I had some great conversations with some new and some old friends, and I met a few more of you, the viewers of this channel. And thank you so much for saying hello to me when you did see me, it means a lot. Now, like I always say, and I'm gonna keep saying, if you want to keep seeing tours like this, you do have to support them. Buy a ticket, grab some mates, or maybe even just go on your own and make some new ones and have an excellent day out. Now, if you did chase this trip, I also strongly suggest making a donation to the tour as these trips do cost money to run. Also, if you're keen on becoming a member, all the appropriate links will be left in the description below. Now, depending on when you are watching this video, don't forget the Newport Railway Workshops Open Day will be held over the Labor Day long weekend in March. And there you can find out about some of the different heritage groups in Melbourne. So anyway, if you caught this trip, what did you think? Or do you have any feedback about this video? And don't forget to be subscribed so you can keep up to date with everything else that I've got coming out in the future. Anyway, leave me some feedback in the comments and I will see you all really, really soon. Hooroo!